कल्पना दत्तर Dr. Dutta is the program director of PCOE, professor and HOD, Department of Pediatrics, Medical College, Kolkata. So without any further delay, let us hear from our speaker. Welcome, madam, to our session. Thank you, Suparna, for kind words. Uh, very good afternoon to everyone. So today I'll be talking on DTG 10 milligram over even case-based learning. I'll request all the new ART centers are there, please, uh, who are, in, uh, are responsible for that inform. Please inform the new ART centers. They must listen this because very important uh, to know that DTG use in the pediatric age group. So all the I request all the ART centers staff, please uh, uh, to, to listen this uh, session. And you have any queries, put on or just go on writing the questions on the chat box. At the end, I'll take care of all the questions. So to discuss and understand the national guidelines on dolutogravy, 10 milligram based mm -hmm. ART regimen for children living with this child. So first line regimen ART naive children weighing less than 20 kg, what will be the regimen? DTG dosing, if in case of TB, HIV, co-infection, and uh, should I speak in English or mixing with the Hindi and all? If uh, according to uh, the Hindi, Hindi and English will do. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, DTG based jo naya regime, I, I think uh, everyone should know that DTG based regime, हम लोग किस condition में हम लोग start करेंगे? क्या what is the indication and क्या dose होगा? Dose क्या change होगा? DTG में कब जाएंगे यदि TB एंड HIV है तो DTG का क्या रोल है डबल डोज होगा किस तरह से देंगे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग द सब्सिक्वेंट प्रेजेंटेशन एक कोई और मेडिसिन में है उसको भी चेंज करना है DTG बेस में ट्रांजिशन करना है DTG बेस रेजिम में इन चिल्ड्रन जो 20 किलो के नीचे है 20 से 30 किलो एंड 30 किलो से ज्यादा है काउंसलिंग द केयर गिवर्स फॉर DTG बेस ईआरटी रेजिम एंड मॉनिटरिंग दो चीज बहुत ही इम्पोर्टेंट इन ईच एवरी स्टेप में आपको पता है जब से आप लोग ने ये आई सेंटर में काम करना शुरू किया है और यू आर अटैच विद एच आई बी इन एनी रिस्पेक्ट हम लोग को पता है कि काउंसलिंग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आस्पेक्ट ऑफ सक्सेसफुल ट्रीटमेंट एंड सक्सेसफुल रिजल्ट तो हम लोग को काउंसलिंग करना है चूंकि वी वी आर डीलिंग विद पेडियाटिक पेशेंट हम लोग को काउंसलिंग करना है केयर गिवर्स को नॉट ओनली द प्राइमरी केयर गिवर हम लोग को सेकेंडरी जो केयर गिवर बैकअप केयर गिवर उनको भी काउंसलिंग करना है काउंसलिंग जो हम लोग करेंगे डायरेक्ट करेंगे ऐसा नहीं ये ट्रांसफर ट्रांसफर होगा कभी कभी ऐसा होता है कि हम लोग काउंसलिंग करें मम्मी को जब पता करते हैं तो मम्मी बोलती मेरी बड़ी बेटी और दवा खिलाती है छोटी बेटी को सो दैट इज दैट बी क्वालिटी ऑफ काउंसलिंग वुड बी लेस इफ मदर से डॉक्टर तो हम लोग बोलेंगे उस कंडीशन में बोले आज दिन कि आप अपने बड़ी बेटी को भी ले आइए हम लोग उसको काउंसलिंग करेंगे तो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट हु इज डायरेक्टली इन्वॉल्व विद द केयर गिविंग द चिल्ड्रन दैट्स यू हैव टू काउंसिल देम एंड ऑफ कोर्स बैकअप काउंसिलर केयर गिवर को भी हम लोग काउंसलिंग करेंगे एंड जब भी कोई ड्रग हम लोग किसी को देते हैं इस आवर मॉरल एंड एथिकल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी है हम किसी को ड्रग्स दिए तो हमको पता होना चाहिए ये ड्रग उस जिसको दिए उसके शरीर में जाके ये क्या काम कर रहा है वो शरीर उस ड्रग को क्या कर रहा है मीन्स जिसको हम लोग अपना मेडिकल टर्म से बोलते हैं फार्माको डायनेमिक्स एंड फार्माको काइनेटिक्स मीन्स दवा जो दिया वो क्या काम कर रहा है एंड बॉडीज को कैसे ले रहा है मीन्स उसका क्या साइड इफेक्ट है या कुछ प्रॉब्लम स्टार्ट हुआ है कि नहीं आफ्टर नया कोई ड्रग्स का सो वो मॉनिटरिंग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड मॉनिटरिंग चिल्ड्रेन इन डीटीजी बेस्ड रेजिम इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज हम लोग बाकी दवा का हम लोग मॉनिटर कर रहे हैं एंड दिस इज अ रिलेटिवली न्यू ड्रग सो वी मस्ट बी वेरी कॉशियस अबाउट दी मॉनिटर हम लोग ट्रीटमेंट क्यों देना चाहते हैं पहले बहुत सारा गाइडलाइन था कि इतना डब्ल्यू सी डी फोर होना चाहिए ये होना चाहिए लॉट्स ऑफ क्राइटेरिया वर देयर फॉर स्टार्टिंग ईआर टी अभी हम लोग कहा है कि ईआर टी पॉजिटिव टेस्ट एंड ट्रीट पॉलिसी में जब पॉजिटिव होने से ईआर टी देंगे क्यों देंगे द फर्स्ट एंड फोर मोस्ट 
problem with the two advantages is the two surprise the HIV viral replication. So, Jitna Jaldi Ho Hamlo Yati Shiru Kari, Yoki Hamlo, Hamlo Dekta, Kafi Din Wolf asymptomatic data. So, they are very um, hesitant. कि हम तो हमारा तो कुछ हो ही नहीं रहा है मेरे को कोई तकलीफ भी नहीं है वो रिपोर्ट पॉजिटिव आया तो क्या हुआ हमको तो कोई तकलीफ नहीं हम क्यों दवा खाएं तो ये बहुत ही इंपॉर्टेंट है कि उनको समझाना काउंसिल करना दैट व्हाई एचआईवी ट्रीटमेंट इज एसेंशियल एआरटी इज एसेंशियल क्योंकि जो वायरस है वो कंटीन्यूअस मल्टीप्लाई कर रहा है बॉडी में अब वो हमको पता नहीं चला जब तक एक लेबल में हो रहा है जब तक एक लेबल तक ना पहुंचा वो क्लिकली हम लोग को दिखाई नहीं देता है सो so, उसके पहले लेकिन वो बहुत कुछ गड़बड़ कर देता है फिर वो हम लोग को दिखाई देता है सो so, हम लोग को एकदम हिट एट द फर्स्ट टाइम हिट हार्ड हम लोग का इधर पहले जैसे पॉजिटिव है उसको दवा डाल दो तो टू सरप्राइज द एचआईवी वायरल रेप्लिकेशन जिससे वो वायरस मल्टीप्लाई करके ज्यादा ना बढ़ना चाहिए एंड सिडिफोर ना घटे एंड सिडिफोर नहीं घटेगा तो हमारा इम्यून जो स्टेटस है हमारा बॉडी का वो प्रिजर्व रहेगा सो प्रिजर्व द एनहांस एंड रिकंस्टिट्यूट द इम्यून सिस्टम देयरफॉर रिड्यूस द ऑपर्चुनिस्टिक इंफेक्शन तो तो क्या है ना हम लोग एआरटी देंगे एआरटी देने से वायरल लोड सप्रेस होगा सीडी फोर बढ़ेगा सीडी फोर बढ़ेगा तो हमारा इम्यून जो घट गया था इम्यून सिस्टम डिप्रेस हो गया था वो अगेन रिकंस्टिट्यूट होगा हमारा इम्यून सिस्टम बुस्टअप होगा एंड इम्यून सिस्टम अच्छा रहने से ऑपरचुनिस्टिक इन्फेक्शन जो इन्फेक्शन ऐसे हम लोग के शरीर पे वो इंटर नहीं कर पाता है अंटिल एनालिस वी हैव अवियर इम्यूनो सप्रेशन वो वो so wo they search for the opportunity to infect the person hum log bolte hai opportunistic infection to hamara cd4 zyada rahega immune system strong rahega to opportunistic infection apne aap ghat jayega to obviously hamara uh, immunity badha rahega opportunistic infection nahi hoga to hamara morbidity quality of life improve kar jayega morbidity ghat jayega bar bar bimar padna uh, shadi khasi hona gut infection hona respiratory tract infection hona ye sab ghat jayega to hamara quality of life bhi improve karega and yeah, the quality of life ghat jaye acha ho morbidity ghat jaye to apne aap hamara growth and development because very essential part of pediatric age group wo continue rahe kyunki growth and development wo start hota hai the mother conceive karti si us din se jab tak bachcha mature na ho jaye ye continuous process mein chalte rehta hai growth and development both physical growth and brain growth and lymphoid tissues internal organ growth everything is gone doing Till there is a fully mature status. So, usko hum log, there will be no hamper. Ye, ye improve, uh, reduce morbidity nahi ho, quality of life improve kare, to growth and development koi hamper nahi hoga, growth failure nahi hoga, development will be normal. So, this is one of the aim of giving ERT, ERT in early phase. And of course, growth and development thik raha quality of life improve gaya, morbidity nahi hai, opportunity increase nahi hai, to wo humara longevity bada dega, to prolong the survival of the person, so that's why it's very important to start the ART as soon as the vacuum quality. <coughs> so what is our in our We have to identify the primary caregiver. That child or child is very important. In our society, in our country, what is happening? There are many children. So a big child is a small child. The mother is busy, the rest of the work is done. So we have to identify the child. The mother is the direct child. Or the child is doing something else. So please identify the primary caregiver. Who is the primary caregiver? 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 We know the maximum transmission by vertical transmission means bachi ko positive hai to mom, the, the, every chance is there that the both parents are positive. So parents are positive that means they might be sick somewhere sometime. So ma, the primary caregiver yadi positive ho, kam, kabhi bimar padegi, to us bat bachi ko kon take care karega. Us bat bachi ko kon khaya, dawa khilaega. Ye bhi humko jana jaruri hai. Isliye humko secondary backup caregiver is very important. Always keep a backup caregiver ready. It may be a father also, it may be elder sister also, it may be cousin, it may be grandpa, grandma, anyone. So you must identify and counsel the, uh, the secondary caregiver or backup caregiver. So what do we do? We will not start the child and then and then. We will not start the child. We will see what the status is. So we have to take an examination, thorough history, we have to take examination, all system examination. बच्चे का बेसलाइन क्लिनिकल स्टेटस क्या है वो तभी पता चलेगा इफ विल टेक द हिस्ट्री इन डिटेल्स एंड थोड़ो एग्जामिनेशन फ्रॉम हेड टू टो हमको एग्जामिनेशन करना है आई मीन वी शुड नॉट फॉरगेट टू आस्क टू ओपन द माउथ 
तो मैं अपने क्लिक्स में देखी हूँ मैक्सिमम टाइम द रेसिडेंट्स एंड दर्किंग इन दर टी सेंटर दे डोंट आस्क टू से ओपन योर माउ अरे माउ दिखाओ देखो अंदर में क्या इवन आई सीन अ पेशेंट को डायट अप और सीवियर फेलियर टू थ्राइव मेरे पास रेफर कर किया गया कि बच्चा खाता नहीं है शी वॉज वट इज नॉट बच्चा इट इज फोर्टीन ईयर्स ओल्ड एडोलेसेंट चाइल्ड एंड रिफ्यूजल ऑफ ईट खाना नहीं खाता एंड ऑल द डॉक्टर गिविंग एपिटाइजर विटामिन काउंसलिंग एंड नो वन एवर आज टू ओपन द माउथ एंड सी वेन दे सेंड टू मी आई सेट की खाना क्यों नहीं खाता है खाने मन नहीं करता है या खाना मिलता नहीं है या खाना मिलता है मन भी करता है लेकिन तुम निगल नहीं सकती हो देन सी सेट मुझे तकलीफ होती है खाना खाने में मैं क्यों तकलीफ होती है मुंह खोलो इट वॉज सीवियर इसोफेजियल कैंडिडेस एंड ओवरऑल कैंडिडेस एंड आई एडमिट इट द पेशेंट स्टार्टेड गिविंग ट्रीटमेंट एंड बेबी डाइट सो दिस हैपन्स हमको ये आदत डालनी होगी कि बेस लाइन क्लिनिकल एग्जामिनेशन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट तो फॉर एग्जामिनेशन करना है एंड फिर हम लोग का कुछ कुछ लैब एसेसमेंट करना है बेस लेवल जानना है क्योंकि हेमोग्लोबिन क्या है शरीरिन क्या है लिवर स्टेटस क्या है किडनी के स्टेटस क्या है सो इवेल्यूएशन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट तो वो देखना है वो सो कोई अपॉर्चुनिस्टिक है इन्फेक्शन है कि नहीं इफ है तो क्या है उसका डायग्नोसिस क्या है एंड Each and every visit, we must rule out tuberculosis. We know very well we are giving too much emphasis on tuberculosis. Yeah, because tuberculosis, HIV, then they say HIV B virus, uh, jada jada uh, proliferate karta hai and tuberculosis be resistant ho jata hai. Jo reformation sensitive hota hai in case of HIV, they may be mimic as a resistant tuberculosis and also they deteriorate the HIV condition. So, dono ek dusre ko bahut hani pochata hai if there is a combined infection. The each and every visit me is our duty to rule out tuberculosis by asking the uh, ICF intensive case finding, asking the four uh, symptoms, baseline psychological assessment of care given and that's it. माँ पापा या पेरेंट्स और केयर गिवर्स आर पॉजिटिव दे आर ऑलरेडी साइकोलॉजिकली डिप्रेस्ड दे आर ऑलरेडी सफर दे आर ऑलरेडी मेंटली डिप्रेस्ड एंड देन व्हेन दे कम टू नो देर किड्स आर आल्सो पॉजिटिव यू कैन इमेजिन हाउ मच साइकोलॉजिकल दे आर अपसेट तो हमको वी हैव टू टेक केयर ऑफ दैट सो साइकोलॉजिकल असेसमेंट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट शुड बी वेरी इम्पैथेटिक हमको टाइम देना होगा हड़बड़ी भी नहीं है उसको टाइम लेके बोथ पेरेंट्स को केयर गिवर्स को प्राइम या सेकेंड गिवर्स साइकिल सोशल असिस्ट करना है इफ देर से एनी प्रॉब्लम वी हैव टू गिव असिस्ट देम वी हैव टू गिव देम काउंसलिंग वी हैव टू सपोर्ट देम एंड वी हैव टू अरेंज हाउ दे कैन कम अप विद साइकोलॉजिकल प्रॉब्लम तो वो हमको देखना है एंड चिल्ड्रेन का इफ दे आर इन द ओल्डर एज ग्रू दे कैन अंडरस्टैंड वॉट दे हैव Uh, whether uh, what is the HIV, how it can affect his or day-to-day life and the um, you know, prolonged life and all. So, we have to take care of the child. 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 So, it's very important. Each and every point is very important. You should practice in your day-to-day life daily. इनिशिएशन है कोट्राइनल प्रिवेंटिव थेरेपी तो जैसे ही बच्चा आता है हम लोग पूरा थोरो चेकअप विल डू द थोरो चेकअप क्लिनिकल असेसमेंट देन इफ रिलेवेंट इन्वेस्टिगेशन के लिए ब्लड ड्रॉ करना है काउंसिल करना है साइकोलॉजिकल स्टेटस को असेस करना है एंड विल स्टार्ट दी कोट्राइमोक्सोल थेरेपी सो कोट्राइमोक्सोल मे बी थेरापेटिक डोज और मे बी अ प्रोफाइल एक्टिव डोज तो यदि कोई डायरिया नहीं है निमोनिया नहीं है नो अदर प्रॉब्लम तो वी कैन गिव इट अ प्रोफाइल एक्टिस डोज कॉल सी पी टी कोटास प्रिवेंटिव थेरेपी वी इमीडिएट वी स्टार्ट डोंट स्टार्ट द सेम डे विद सी पी टी क्योंकि ये प्रॉब्लम क्या होती है इफ देर इज रैशन एंड एनी साइड इफेक्ट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू एसेस द विच इज द ऑफेंडिंग ड्रग सो इट इज बेटर टू डिले टू टू थ्री डेज फॉर गिविंग सी पी टी एंड ए आर टी एंड जैसे मेरा एक पेशेंट अभी है दोनों देखे मैट ह्यूज रैस एंड ऑल ओवर द बॉडी एंड ऑल आफ्टर सीपीटीएन एल आई स्टार्टिंग सीपीटीएन एल डी सो इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट आई हैड टू एडमिट द पेशेंट बिकॉज आई कैन नॉट टेक द रिस्क सो वी स्टार्टेड ग्रेजुअल डिसेंसिटाइजेशन ऑफ सेप्ट्रेन कोटामसल एंड वी स्टार्टेड दैट सो दैट्स वाई इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू स्टार्ट द सीपीटी and then you do the ert preparation counseling prepare the child and the caregiver for lifelong erts and then you start the ert and then you see the side effects of other drugs so in case of if there is any severe malnutrition very common 
And if you won't do the anthropometric measurements, you will miss severe malnutrition because there's a definite criteria for saying, uh, telling a patient is a SAM, severe acute malnutrition or moderate acute malnutrition, ma'am. So it's very important to measure the upper arm circumference, measure the weight, height, if the older children more than two years, if less than two years, the length, and then plot in graph, you have a graph or everyone is having apps in your mobile. You can see whether you're fulfilling the uh, definition of SAM or not. If there's a SAM, then see is there any complications of SAM. If at all it is covered, there's a complication, you get admitted in the Department of Pediatrics or the special care can be given. Treat the complications when they're, they're overcome, then only you start the ART. Otherwise, chances of IRIS will be quite high. So whatever we discussed, the let's recapitulate. Confirm the HIV infection in infants and children. If less than 18 months, then uh, virologically and above 18 months, serologically. Perform the baseline assessment investigation and CD4 count. Treat and stabilize the um, condition and opportunity infections. Initiate uh, for time of season if there's no complication of why. If why is there, you can treat the why. Prepare the caregivers and child for lifelong ART is a very... Uh, distressful uh, situation for um, uh, parents and the children. So always take care of that. Initiate appropriate first line ART according to the weight um, band, regardless the age or WH clinical stages or immune status. So indication is there whenever they are positive. Though they may be a younger age, maybe infant, maybe a children, maybe adolescent, maybe adult. But so irrespective of age, you have to start ART. You have to write the clinical staging of WHO clinical staging. You have to do the staging, but it won't differ your treatment. You have to treat the ART, even opposed the CT4 count. So ART to be uh, started in any situation. The condition where you have to uh, start the rapid initiation of ART, when there's a, uh, regardless, initiated the regardless of A, CT4 count, WHO clinical same when they have prepared, appropriately prepared, you have already prepared and you have done the rapid counseling, uh, they are very uh, understandable, they are mature enough and uh, both are uh, both caregivers are very receptive, then you can give the uh, rapid initiation. But always keep in mind, because I do get call from different departments, uh, patient is uh, admitting the ward, please start ART. We are going to uh, do emergency, please start ART. No, ART is not going to do any miracle in a day or two. It is not an emergency intervention because like if the baby is in distress, we can give this uh, oxygen, we can give the bronchodilator. These are the emergency medicine. So ART is not an emergency medicine. It is not going to do anything. So ERT se hum kuch miracle koi achanak se koi achha nahi kar sakte. It will take time to suppress the viral load. So hum log, if baby is sick, make them stabilize. If there's a severe malnutrition, acute malnutrition, make them stabilize. Start oral feeding, then you start uh, ERT. So it is not an emergency intervention. Kabi kabi kisi ko ye, ye rata hai ki ERT ke baan salu karne se sab thik ho jaga. Nahi, ERT salu karne se sab thik nahi hoga. Everything should be there. Opportunistic infections, any complications, severe malnutrition, all to be treated and make the child stable, make the child receptive, make the child comfortable, and you start it. Now we'll talk about the dolutagravir. That is the main aim of this RDLS. More why we are um, so much emphasizing the dolutagravir, uh, um, starting on dolutagravir, and all the time we are going on doing RDLS and NDLS, the um, uh, discussions on dolutagravir because it is a very potent drug. Rapidly achieves and maintains the viral suppression. So in four weeks time, it can achieve the viral suppression and then it suppresses, keep on suppressing for a long period. So it is a very potent drug. Hai. And if you can start, it you can achieve um, viral suppression very fast. Suppose the adherence through less pill burden and easy administration because once a day administration, if not TB, if TB is there, then twice daily, 12 hours apart. So, if you have a fixed time, fix time, then the pill burden will be and adherence will be good. Evidence of superiority of DTG compared to other um, drugs like retinavir based uh, boosted lupinavir. So, there are many studies why. Uh, sare evidence is hamare paas hai, jisse pata chalta hai, DT is far better than lopinavir. And it harmonizes with the adult regime because already adult me hamla dolotegravir dere kafi dino shi. So ab dolotegravir bachyo ka terim chi aagya hai. So we will have a, at a par with the adult. So we can harmonize with the treatment. It will be very easy to transitional care for our adolescent to adult if it, we have in the same regime. And easy, easy for maintaining the supply chains for the operational issues.
Admitted DTG is a simplified dosing schedule. Very easy to administer, greater taste, greater tolerance, and lesser side effects. We have seen many cases of uh, intolerance in lopinavir because very bitter taste. So sometimes we have to give the anti uh, emetics and all. But we have not um, observed any uh, such uh, complaint from the parents uh, for the dolutegravir. It causes faster viral separation and it is have a high genetic barrier for races. The chances of getting races and mutant virus is very less if you start with a dolotical based treatment. So, what is the key importance of a, a drug key consideration of pediatric care? We'll start if the child is below 30 kg, less than mm -hmm. 10 years. So, we'll start abacavir is the preferred first line in a tear for ART initiation for children. Lamomidine is must in the second NRTI component for all patients. And less than 20 kg, uh, dilute with 10 mg base in the NAHA. And if more than 20 kg, 50 mg. And mind it, 10 mg base regime is the dispersible. Dilute with 50 mg is a film coated tablet. So it should be swallowed whole tablet. Coated in a recommended as a preferred third drug. For all children more than 10 years and weight more than 30 kg, Tenofibir is the preferred first line along with the dolotegavir 50. Dolotegavir 10 mg dispersal tablet <coughs> less than 20. Dolotegavir 50 10 mg coated tablet more than 20. 20 or more. And when it is more than uh, a 10 and uh, 10 or more or 30 kg or more, both are there, then you can give the tenofibir with the dolotegavir film coated tablet. Okay. So let's recapitulate. Weight less than 20 kg. Abacavir lamibody plus DTG 10 according to the weight band will go as a weight band and twice daily plus dolotegravir is a once daily. In, in case of 20 to 30 kg, it is ALD that is a, a 50, um, 50 milligram film coated tablet. Um, um, Abacavir lamibody twice daily again as per the weight band and DTG will be 15 to once daily. Weight above 30 kg, it is a TLD, single pill FDC um, drug, tenofil, I mean, once day. So we always, we have to calculate the dose, AL and dolotegravir every visit. According to the chart. So don't take as granted, we have seen the patient today and it's born having the same drug for the coming six months. No, every month when patient comes for the collecting the pills and for examination, you must set the weight and see again, check your uh, drug, whether you're giving age appropriate drug or not. So it's very important to see the weight band and see the check the drug. This is weight band uh, from three to five, uh, less than six kg, six to nine, less than 10 kg, 10 to um, less than 14 kg, 14 to less than 20 kg, 20 to 25 kg, less than 25 kg, and 25 to less than 30 kg and 30 and above. So you see, there's a different doses. It's really good. The uh, different doses, and but uh, one thing is very important and very uh, good to notice if you see when you are giving um, the uh, 10 mg uh, DTG in the last row, uh, you see the last row DTG 10 mg is dispersible tablet, and the first row where abacavir and lamibodin and tablets are given, the doses are same, especially uh, except in less than 6 kg. 6 kg onwards, it is 1.5 tablet, one and a half tablet. And Avacabir and Lamibdin also one one point by one and a half tablet. But it isn't Avacabir and is twice daily. DTG10 is the once daily. So those is very easy to remember. The one and one dead goli khana hai subar sham, el dead goli tilchi ek bar khana hai. So same amount of dosing is there. So it is easy to remember for the parents also. Can remember. So if you see uh, the doses is uh, except in less than 6 kg to 0. 0.5 and 1. Otherwise, uh, 6 kg to up to 20, 19.9 .9 kg. Whatever the dose is 1.5 tablet. Similarly, in AL is 1.5 tablets. It is 1.5 tablet. And uh, dolptagravit is the 10 mg is 2 tablets. Here, again, AL 2 tablets, JL 2 tablets. The number of tablets and the, is the same, but you have to see the uh, 10 mg tablet. And it is uh, according to the 60 to 30, either AL or JL. The preparedness counseling is very important. Explain what, specify when, identify WHO class. 
क्या हुआ है क्यों हुआ है क्यों दवा चाहिए डीटी जी क्या खिलाना है क्यों हम लोग डीटी जी ले रहे हैं डीटी जी से हमको क्या फायदा हो रहा है मम्मी पूछ सकती है पहले तो जो दवा खा रहा था उससे बच्चा अच्छा ही था आप अचानक ये क्यों चेंज कर रहे हैं सी हैव टू काउंसिल व्हाट इज द इम्पोर्टेंस हैविंग ऑन द डीटी जी बेस्ड रेसिम डिस्पर्सिबल है स्कोर्ड है छे छे लोग के नीचे के बच्चे को दे सकते हैं हाफ टेबलेट करके एंड जब भी वन एंड हाफ टेबलेट देना है टू टेबलेट देना टू एंड टू पॉइंट फाइव टेबलेट देना है स्कोर्ड है स्कोर्ड होने से हमको क्या होता है फायदा वो तोड़ने में आसानी आसानी होती है तो वो हम लोग आसानी से तोड़ सकते हैं तो डिस्पर्सिबल भी है जिससे हम लोग वाटर में डिजोल्व कर सकते हैं कब देना है इंडिकेशन क्या है प्राइवेट किसको देना है कौन देगा डब्ल्यू एच में गिव हम लोग कौन देगा का क्या देना है कब देना है एंड हु विल गिव दी ड्रग मींस हु इज द प्राइमरी केयर गिवर हु इज द बैकअप केयर गिवर द प्राइमरी केयर मे बी मदर मे बी फादर मे बी ग्रैंड पेरेंट्स और गार्जियंस और ऑल एंड ऑलवेज आइडेंटिफाई द सेकेंडरी केयर गिवर तो हमको ये कहना है कि इफ डीटीजी नॉट ओनली डीटीजी कोई भी मेडिसिन खिलाने के विद इन 30 मिनट्स यदि बच्चा उल्टी कर दे वॉमिट कर दे तो आपको समझ लेना चाहिए कि वो दवा शरीर में नहीं गया आपको दोबारा वो गोली खिलाना पड़ेगी सो इफ एनी चाइल्ड वॉमिस विद इन थर्टी मिनट्स ऑफ इंजेक्शन मस्ट रिपीट द डोज तो आपको उसके लिए ये पूछना पड़ेगा वी हैव मेनी केसेस इन आवर मीटिंग दैट चिल्ड्रन केम फॉर फेल्यूर जब पता चला दैट वॉज अ केस ऑफ लोपनवीर बेस्टरी पता चला कि हर बार वो वोमित है उल्टी करती है लेकिन मम्मी बोले हम तो हंड्रेड परसेंट खिलाते हैं मम्मी इज वेरी कॉन्फिडेंट मैं तो खिलाती हूँ ठीक टाइम में लेकिन बच्चा का वायरल लोड बढ़ता जा रहा है जब हम लोग पूछे तो पता चला हर बार वो उल्टी करती है मिस ये उसके शरीर में जा नहीं रहा है जब भी दवा दे रहा है वो उल्टी कर रहा है तो इससे हमको क्या करना है हमको उसका मास्क टेस्ट को मास्क करना है व्हीकल को चेंज करना है किस व्हीकल से दे and sometimes you might need to give antibiotics also so dtg based tablet kya kaise dena hai is very important ye dispersible means it is dissolved in a drinking is a dissolved in water to hum kya karna hai dissolved in a drinking water clean cup to first kya karna hai take required number dtg tablets in a cup and add measured amount of water iske pehle main bataungi ye nahi pehle aap dekh lijiye aapko kitna goli dena hai एंड पानी पीने वाला पानी रखिए आप साबुन से हाथ धोइए दवा खाने की वजह से हमारी उल्टी हो रही है हमारा टट्टी हो रहा है इट इज नॉट बिकॉज समाइज इट इज नॉट बिकॉज द ड्रग इट इज बिकॉज द कंटेमिनेशन बाई दी अनहाइजेनिक कंडीशन प्रिपरेशन तो आप उसको पहले मम्मी को या पापा को ओ केयर गिवर हु इज प्रिपेरिंग आप वो सेवन स्टेप्स है आप सबको पता है वट आर द सेवन स्टेप्स ऑफ हैंड वॉशिंग कहाँ कहाँ हमारे हाथों में गंदगी छुपी रहती है जीवाणु छुपी रहती है जैसे नेल्स के साइड में क्रीजेस में वेब्स ऑफ द फिंगर्स में थम में तो हम लोग को वो दो मिनट अच्छी तरह से सोप वाटर से हमारा हाथ धोना है आप जिस बर्तन में वो डिजोल्व करेंगे उसको भी अच्छा से धोना है एंड उसको पीने वाले पानी से रिंच करके धोना है then you keep the tablet required in the tablet then you add the measured amount of water to ye jo do steps idhar likha hua uske pehle ke lekin ye teen steps hai aap decide kar kya dena hai you have to wash your hand you have to clean the cup, pot teen cheez aapko karna hai uske baad aapko tablet lena hai uske baad aapko dav pani dalna hai aur usko tablet ko usme del ke lump nahi hona chahiye jo jaldi se aapko ghumana hai so that it will dissolve immediately एक सोल्यूशन तैयार हो जाएगा ओरल सस्पेंशन एंड उसको बना के तुरंत पिला देना है रख नहीं देना है थर्टी मिनट्स के बाद रखते हो तो सब पोटेंसी लूज कर जाएगा सो आंडर डेजिंग हो जाएगा इसलिए जब भी आप बनाएंगे देन इन देयर उसको बच्चे को बैठा के बच्चे को काउंसिल करके आपको दवा पिन ऐसा हो सकता है मम्मी बना रही बच्चा भाग गया खेलने में आपको खोजने में थर्टी मिनट्स लग गया ऐसा नहीं बच्चे को पास में बैठा के बच्चे को दिखा के देखो ये दो गोली मैं बना रही हूँ आपके लिए बना रही हूँ आपको पीना है भी and you can give the play things and divert the things by comics and also the pictures and photographs whatever way you can keep the ch child happy and you have to prepare karke oral solution ko immediately isko pilana hai kaisa karna hai yadi half tablet se char tablet tak ten ml 5 ek chamach se do chamach pani mein ugh jayega uske zyada lagega to hum log ko utara dena hai aise char tablet tab maximum hai two tablets as a sin 
और इधर डीटीजी एंड एम दो एल ए जेडल तीनों एक साथ डालो डालना है तीनों डीटीजी एंड एल और डीटीजी और जेडल तब हमारा फोर्टी एस मीन ट्वेंटी एम तो हर सिरप जैसे आपका सिप्टन सिरप का कॉट्रोमाइजो सिरप है या कोई भी सिरप है उसके ऊपर एक ट्रांसपेरेंट ढक्कन रहता है उसमें फाइव एम एल सेवन पॉइंट फाइव एम एल टेन एम एल कभी कभी फिफ्टीन एम एल का भी मार्किंग रहता है सो यू डोंट हैव टू बाय सेपरेट मार्कर्स वो मार्किंग रहेगा उसमें अपना मेजर्ड अमाउंट पे आप पानी लीजिए उसमें टेबलेट दीजिए कंटिन्यूस टायर कीजिए टिल इट बिकॉम्स टोटली डिजोल्व देर शुड नॉट बी एनी लंप और एनी सेडिमेंट द एंड वो सेडिमेंट नहीं बनना चाहिए नीचे कुछ नहीं रहना चाहिए लंप नहीं बनना चाहिए सो जल्दी जल्दी आपको स्टायर करना है टायर के उसको पिलाना और यदि आनी हो हाफ टेबलेट नीट भी रिटर्न फिर तो बॉटल यदि आप डेढ़ गोली लिए आपका दो गोली था हाफ टेबलेट जो बचा वो आपको टेबलेट को इसमें डाल देना है फिर बॉटल में डाल के या टाइप करके बंद करना है और जब आप आप हाथ धोए हैं बर्तन लिए योर हैंड्स मास्क भी फुल्ली ड्राई वेट हैंड से नहीं करना है आपको ये भी आपको ठीक है अब अब ऐसा होता है कि आप हाथ धोए गंदा कपड़े से हाथ पोस लिए गंदे टबले तोलिया से हाथ पोस हाथ फिर से गंदा हो गया तो ये सब ध्यान में रखना है जब वेन प्रिपेयरिंग अ सॉल्यूशन तो आपको हाथ सुखाना पड़ेगा हाथ धो के हाथ सुखाना पड़ेगा फिर आपको बर्तन लेना पड़ेगा पानी लेना पड़ेगा उसको डिजोल्व करना पड़ेगा बच्चे को पिलाना पड़ेगा पर तो ये हम लोग कितना दवा देना है बार बार हम लोग बोल रहे हैं ऑप्शन पर चिल्ड्रन मोर देन ट्वेंटी के जी नॉट एबल टू सॉल्व इम्पोर्टेंट टाइप अब कभी कभी बच्चे पे बच्चे का हर बच्चा डिफरेंट होता है हर बच्चा अलग होता है कोई बच्चा छह पांच साल का ही इतना मैच्योर होता है आप जो दो चुपचाप खा लेता है कोई बच्चे बड़े होकर भी नहीं, नहीं मैंने अभी एडोलेशन किया मैं बड़ी बच्ची बड़े स्टूडेंट्स को पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट को भी देखे जैसे कि हमको टेबलेट निकलना नहीं आता है मुझे बहुत गले में लगता है मैं गोली नहीं निकल सकती ऐसे हमारे तो ये बच्चे हैं मोर देन ट्वेंटी के जी चिल्ड्रन दे माइट नॉट है दे माइट नॉट लाइक टू सॉलो द फिल्म कोटेड टैबलेट तो क्या करेंगे तो हम लोग डिस्पर्सिबल टैबलेट तीन दे सकते हैं बिकॉज डिस्पर्सिबल थर्टी एम जी सीक्वल टू फिल्म कोटेड टैबलेट ऑफ फिफ्टी एम जी डी टी जी टेन में भी टेकन विदाउट मिल्स डिस्पर्सिबल कैन शुड बी एडलीस डिस्पर्सिबल वाटर बट कैन बी टेकन विद मिल्क और फूड इट इज डिस्पर्सिबल टैबलेट शुड बी डिस्पर्स इन टू द सोल्यूशन आप ऐसे खना कोई चीज नया लीजिए जिसमें टैबलेट डिजोल्व ना हो आप मिल्क ले सकते हैं फ्रूट जूस में ले सकते हैं वाटर में ले सकते हैं जिसमें डिजोल्व हो तो डिजोल्व नहीं होगा तो ये दिक्कत होगी इसलिए हम लोग को बेटर है वाटर में लेना अदर यू कैन टेक एंड द मिल्क आल्सो एक्सप्लेन द नीड फॉर लाइफ लॉन्ग एयर टेन इंपॉर्टेंस वायरल सो सिर्फ दवा देने से नहीं होगा एग्जामिनेशन करने से नहीं होगा प्रेस्क्रिप्शन लिखने से नहीं वही डॉक्टर्स ऑलवेज बिजी इन राइटिंग प्रेस्क्रिप्शन नो यू हैव टू काउंसिल एंड काउंसिल वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट काउंसलिंग नहीं करेंगे द मेन वजह है काउंसलिंग का हेयर आई वुड लाइक टू गिव ए वन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ वन पेशेंट जस्ट नो आई एम हैविंग वो कोई बाहर के नेबरिंग स्टेट से मेरे पास आया है एट इलेवन मंथ दो द बेबी वॉज ई आई डी नेवर टेस्टेड नेवर फॉलोड अप डिंग टेक कोटाइमोसोजल वट एवर गिवेन एट बर्थ नेवर पिन ही मदर गेव द नेवर पिन एट सिक्स वी दे डिन टर्न अप and 11 months when there is a lots of issues lots of problem and delayed developmental milestone they came to me to maine maa ko pucha aap kyun nahi aayi pehle aapko to pata hai aap dawa kha rahi hai aapko pata hai ki bacche ko dikhana hai nahi madam bachcha to acha hi tha bhala ekdam changa tha bhala tha main bhale bacche ko acha healthy bachcha tha main kyun le aayi to usko pata hi nahi tha means counseling was not done ki like after but you have to take care of kids they every visit you have to bring the child so you have to bring the child every time every month so that was not counsel to the parents it is very important to counsel the parents and um, say about the uh, importance of having examination uh, and taking the immunization so baby was not immunized didn't take any uh, vaccinations did not have any co time of school no investigation no testing was done it is only because of lack of counseling so it's very important while you are writing the prescription treating the mother you must counsel the mother that you have to bring the child after delivery at 6 you saw the vaccination and they might have gone to the vaccination center and they didn't turn up in the ert center so even you have to mention that even if you give the vaccine you have to have the testing should be done and all those counseling to be done otherwise there will be failure in the management and similarly there will be failure in the adherence and there will be no viral suppression when you are giving the dtg how safe it is how effective it is 
what is the way of giving the drug you have explained but you have to also explain also make the uh, caregiver the empower to take care of the side effects so there are a few side effects like insomnia fatigue headache rash reported immediately after ingestion but this is a very rare in pediatrics i never saw a single case of insomnia for the last one year or fatigue or headache but a rash a few cases are there so you have to report it to the your nearest health center or you can near you come to the come back to the ert center and it is better to have a photograph. You can take the photograph, take the photograph, send it to the IT center or bring it the photograph with the uh, patient. Explain about what gain due to DTG may occur. So mm -hmm. advantage of DTG, you have to explain. And exercise and nutritional counseling is the integral part of the counseling. So without counseling about the nutrition, without counseling about the exercise, without counseling about the growth and development, your counseling is not complete in case of pediatric school. Explain how to give the drugs. 10 steps as we have discussed. Specify the dosing, weight band is very important to take the, see the chart and give the weight. Uh, weight um, uh, and weight, uh, according to weight, you give the uh, tablets and you always see the weight, weight, weight band. And uh, every visit you take the weight and check your uh, drug. You might have written the right drug, correct drug. It might have been the same drug in the same visit, but always check whether you have given the same uh, drug is correct or not. Fixed time in giving the drug, once a daily dose, it doesn't make you one, one day he will take it in the morning, next day he will take it in the afternoon, third day he will give the in the evening, no. The timing must be fixed, once day, though it is once in a day, 24 hours time, but timing should be fixed. According to the convenience of the child, if he is going to school, he is going to the play school, he is in the uh, secondary schools and all, any tuition, any activities, you have to take care of that. So you have to take the daily uh, thorough history. And accordingly, you just ask them, the caregivers, to fix the timing. DTG should be taken two hours before and six hours after taking. The time can be antacids, laxatives, sucral phase, oral iron supplements, oral calcium supplements, and buffered medications. Here, very important in pediatrics, left and right, we do give the oral supplementation, especially iron and calcium. So you have to take the history whether my baby is taking any vitamins, any oral calcium, iron preparation, or any oral calcium. Then you have to defer the drug for two hours before and six hours after taking the drugs. So there is a drug to drug uh, interaction because in ART center, the, the AMOs should take the history because they are very busy about that. They are very concerned with the HIV related things. But you have, as you are going to treat the child, you are not going to treat the HIV. We are going to treat the child. So all the drugs, all the medications who are taking from the outside or other department, you must know. So there are drug drug interactions. So you take the history of carbamazepine, phenytoin, phenova, whether the baby is suffering from epilepsy, convulsion. Then you have to modify the drug accordingly. If carbamazepine is given, then they use DTT twice daily as you give the dipermipation, or you have to substitute the anticonvulsants like carbamazepine with the other drug. If penitentiary and phenobarb, then use an alternative anticonvulsant agents. If giving iron and uh, calcium and other bit, uh, cationic products, then it should be two hours before, or six hours after taking the drug. <clears throat> if baby is taking uh, antitubical drugs, repumption containing antitubical drugs, DTG was daily to be given. If it's amodiacane, though it's not used in pediatric so it's not in a, uh, use, so use, if there's amodiacane, that should be uh, changed and alternative antitubical agents should be given. Now there's a one case. Uh, I think you should answer in the chat box. Uh, this is the case. Uh, Miss Y, uh, HIV infected children for two years. She has a persistent oral thrust. She has achieved normal developmental milestones but has failed to gain weight, height as expected. Weight is six kg. So two years, it should be. Anyone can write in the chat box. It should be 12 kg. So the weight is 6 kg. By uh, knowing the weight only, you can see it is severe we have failure, we are underweight. And it's already given the minus 3 Z score and height is also minus 3 Z score. CD4 is 18% and hemoglobin is uh, 7 gram per DL. TB has been ruled out. What is the clinical state of the child? Anyone? Please write in the chat box. Anyone about the uh, staging? You see the severe SAM is there. First, the oral thrust. Oral thrust is stage 3. But here the SAM is there. The SAM is stage 4. So, which is the CVL? We have to take. So, it is a stage 4. <laughs> CPT is indicated in this child. Is it, is it indicated? As the child is positive and less than 5 years, you have to give the CPT. So, yes, 
it is to be given five years CSP to her clinical stages and the five women was ready to be the liver. What need to be done before ART initiations? As we said, we discussed the thorough examination, clinical evaluation, baseline investigation, diagnosis, st staging, screening of our OIs, preparedness, counseling, nutritional counseling, and all those. If there's any complications, we have to treat it. There's no hurry in initiation of ART. We make the child stable. What should the ART prescribe to the child uh, uh, is two years and six kg, anyone? The answer is, anyone, please write in the chat box. That is it, um, ALD and dolutegravir. You see the chart and it will be 1.5 tablet twice daily in case of abacabinlamibutin and so once daily in case of TTG. <laughs> so what is the summary of ART initiations? Confirm a first HIV infection if less than 18 months, virologically, more above 18 months, serologically, treat and stabilize the good conditions, opportunistic infections. Baseline CD4 should be done, other lab investigations should do. Then you divide in the three age groups, uh, three weight groups, less than 20 kg, 20, 20 to 30 kg, and more than 10 years, and 30 kg of groups. So if weight is less than 30, yeah, avacubin, lamivudine, and dolutegravir. Even in the 20 to 30 kg, it is avacubin, lamivudine, and dolutegravir. But what is the difference? Here we are giving dispersable 10 milligram tablet according to the weight band. Here we are giving film, uh, film coated 50 milligram tablet. That is the only difference between less than 20 kg and above 20 kg up to 30 kg. But more than 10 years, then you will see the body weight. Is it less than 30 kg or more than 30 kg? If then less than 30 kg, again it will come to the uh, ALD. But if it's more than 30 kg, then in, without renal disease, it will be TLD. So again, 6-year-old, 13 kg male child, hemoglobin 8 grams, CD4 500. This is the dose regime. I'm not giving details. This, uh, you can see the chart and check. But as here you see, ALD as the six years, so as CD4 is 500 considered. And then you see the weight is quite low. Hemoglobin is eight, so you need iron syrup. And of course, you should look out the cause of um, anemia with the HIV and other uh, warm infestation or other causes. There are not nutritional anemia and all, but you have to treat it. Again, this is the seven year oil, 19 kg, nine gram. Again, hemoglobin is low. CD4 is 300. So you need to have a Four times also in your regime along with that ALD. In three years, weight 9 kg, CD4 400, no opportunistic infection. So, less than three uh, five years, it is uh, four times must be there and ALD to be given. In 4.5 months old, diagnose HIV infected, weight 4 kg, no opportunistic infection. Then again, you have to add the four times also along with the ALD with the uh, weight band dose. <coughs> Let's have another case. Master Jade is a two years, nine months old, HIV infected boy who presented with the altered sensorium since two days. Cough and fear for last one month. His father was recently detected to have a pulmonary TB. The first impression was father was having pulmonary TB, baby have a, a cough and fever for one month and unconscious. So could it be a tuberculous meningitis? He was diagnosed to suffering with TB meningitis. He was started on tuberculosis drug 14 days ago. Now his body weight is 9 kg, CD4 is 14%, hemoglobin 9.8 percent Is CPT indicated in CHSM child as the 2 years, 9 months without irrespective of anything, if baby will be CPT. But even with the more than 5 years, as meningitis means stage 4, it should be CPT. So CPT is indicated as less than 5 years in clinical stage 4. When should the ART to be started in child with a TBHIV infection? Again, this is a question. Already 2 weeks passed, so after 2 weeks. So total four weeks. Yet it will started after complete. Already two weeks passed, 14 days ago. So again, after two weeks, the total duration of four weeks, you will start the, as the, uh, uh, yeah. As there's a meningitis, don't scare up adding corticosteroid because TB meningitis, one of the indication of starting corticosteroid for treatment of tuberculosis is the TB meningitis, even if the child is positive. So start with the corticosteroid and add the RT after four weeks. <coughs> So children with uh, co-infected ATB initiate ATD first and then uh, ATD to be uh, started as soon as uh, <coughs> TB treatment is tolerated, no side effects. No side effects um, among people living with HIV except the signs and symptoms of meningitis are present. And the children living with HIV, TB meningitis, ATD should be delayed at least four weeks and in, within If it is TB meningitis, then four to eight, in between four to eight weeks. Otherwise, you can start early. And of course, cortex has to be given when it is. 
Now, another case, the same case, two years, nine month old boy presented the alter sensorium is there. What should be the ERT thing? So, what should be ERT this? Again, we know that all cases it is uh, ALD below 20 kg and all. And so, 10 milligram dispersible tubule. As the baby is having tuberculosis, it should be twice daily. And it should be continued even after two weeks after the stop is the pharmacy. <coughs> so, DTG based resin, double dose of DTG. DTG to be given twice daily. Twice daily means it's not like this in, uh, in the morning at 8 a.m. and at uh, two, uh, afternoon at 2 p.m. It should be 12 hours apart. So you always write twice daily in the bracket. You always write 12 hours apart. It's not a twice daily only. But two weeks after the last dose of repumpation. And if you regime of the DTG and Lopnevel, then double uh, double dose DTG and Lopnevel will be 100% boosting. It's not uh, uh, boost to one. It should be what is to one. Weight. Weight less than 20 kg. So ALD. Twice less for weight band. And uh, plus another 12 hours TTG. Weight between 20 to 30 kg, again, same. So you have to keep in mind when you are giving anti tubercle drug, the another dolotical should be added after 12 hours. And that to be continued after two weeks of stop it. But in case of resistant tuberculosis, we know in repumption resistant, there's no need to do because repumption is not the, in the regime for resistant tuberculosis. This is the weight band of, I'm not going in details of the weight band, you will always see. Every time you see the child and wait and you see the chart. And the patient, master is an infected boy, aged seven years, presently asymptomatic. It's clinical stable, no opportunistic infection detected, weight 24 kg. CD4 386. So seven years, more than 350, quite good, other inversion of the normal limit. Is CPT indicated in this case as above five years? More than 350, asymptomatic stage one. So, no uh, CPT as it is in stage one, more than 350, more than Good. Second, prescribed ART, ART will be ALD as the seven years, so 10 milligram uh, pill put a uh, dispersal tablet with AL. And the case, a 13 years old uh, adolescent girl child, uh, ART knee. Asymptomatic clinical stage one, weight is 38 kg, more 10 grams, CD4 58. Renal functions and function tests should be done in all cases who are going to have a tenofovir based treatment within normal limits. Other investigations are within normal limits. HCPT indicated in MST, let's see 13 years. Okay. If the age of 13 years, then see the CD4, CD4 450, more than 350. Now see the clinical stage, it's a stage one. So he does, she does not need. Okay, renal function normal. So we'll give the TLD once daily at any uh, time fixed as per the patient's convenience. So there's a memorandum we uh, received it on the uh, 14th August of 2023 for starting the uh, 10 milligram dolotigabay based regime. This is a flow chart for is a re uh, ready recorder and the uh, <clears throat> ART regime which is the body weight less than 20 kg already in ART for more than six months. Then what to do? It's very important to know this state. A patient is uh, abacabi, lamibidin, lopinavir, and viral, do the, if more than six months, yeah, well, the time of viral load has come. So do the viral load, it is suppressed, then exchange it, viral suppressed, then just the H it, 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 ALD. But unsuppressed, then you have to switch over to TLD, uh, JDLD, of course, you have to see the hemoglobin level. If hemoglobin is less than nine, then you have to continue the AL, ALD, AL, AL, PBI, or ALD, and you have to follow up with the PSOE. Yes, same in the JDL uh, and Lopinavir, Ritunavir. If uh, after six months virally suppressed, you have to change the JDLD. If it's the virally unsuppressed, you have to go for the um, ALD. So ALLB by viral load 2000 copies means virally suppressed. Thousand, below 1000 is a mistake of suppression. So ALD. 800, it is all suppressed. It's more than 1200. So what we do? Enhance advanced counseling. Again, it came down. So again, ALD. So if it's enhanced case and it's TND, again, same. If it's more than 1,000, even after enhanced counseling, it is more than 26. Then again, we follow that previous guideline. So there are some few, um, frequently asked questions. One pediatric patient who was on AL LPBR and his viral load was more than 1,000 copies per ml. Now, this is that he has pediatric lopinavir. After three months, we told that you have to do this enhanced adherence counseling. After that, you have to test and change. 
आपके पास ये तो हमारा काफी प्रॉब्लम चल रहा है ऑल ओवर इंडिया वी डू फेस कि हमारे पास क्लोपने के रिटर्न में तीन सर महीने के लिए नहीं है फिर हम क्या करेंगे क्या जिंदगी सो वी कुड नॉट गिव दिस स्टेप ऑफ हैंड्स दे फॉर टू सर से व्हाट विल कुड बी डन ये हम लोग नहीं कहे हैं वी कैन नॉट वेट वी हैव टू चेंज एल एंड अडल्ट इट व्हाट शुड बी डन इन द रेजिम कंटेन अवकवी फिल्म कोटेड टैबलेट कैन बी डिसॉल्व अलोंग विद द डीटीज तो हम लोग क्या करें कंटेंट्स इन द अवकवी what should be done if the regime can have away and fill covid tablet can't be dissolved so along with the dtg to hum hamara ek ab ka tablet kya hai ek tablet nahi hai we can break it and immediately given fill covid tablet should be taken should not be exposed to air and for long time what to do the excess stock which is not going to be utilized until another ye to bahut easy hai aapke ek saal ke liye hai aap 3 mahine ke liye aap rakh lijiye baki dusre center mein relocate kar dijiye <laughs> when to begin transition dtg after completion of patient uh, present stock of um, uh, stock of tv as lb uh, or before that no we are not going to see the uh, stock here it is indicated you uh, immediate trans uh, transition to dtg to be done aapka uh, stock aap calculate kijiye 3 mahine ke zyada hai to aap relocate kar dijiye kam hai to manga lijiye but you don't have to wait for that stock for the treating the children Not only the treatment, आपको growth and nutrition, development, four years of screening, other operations in three uh, screening, treatment that there is and dose per weight every visit में आपको calculate करनी है. So what is the age wise uh, blood sugar level when normal range to monitor six monthly? Yes sir, because कभी कभी हम लोग बड़े adult में हमारा experience है काफी hyperglycemia cases में मिला है DTG based में. दो हम लोग को बच्चों में नहीं मिला है तो आपको इसलिए करना है. आपको मॉनिटरिंग अदरेंस मॉनिटरिंग चल रहा है ना हम लोग का सो so, उसमें हम लोग ब्रेकफास्ट के पहले फास्टिंग ब्लड सुबह सेवेंटी टू वन ट्वेंटी एंड वन टू आवर्स आफ्टर मिल वन फोर्टी मिलीगर पर डील से नीचे रहेगा तो मिल से सो कर इनकेसिंग हाइप्रोग्लेसमेंट सॉरी टाइप वन डायबिटीज चिल्ड्रेन विद डिटीजिटेंट शुड बी स्टॉप चेंज टू अदर नो In type one diabetes mellitus, it is insulin dependent. You have to treat with insulin. If you if you face any problem, refer to the patient to the pediatrician or their specialized care is given. So it should be treated with insulin, and of course the dose will be adjusted, and uh, DTG should be continued. Well, child uh, children uh, as a child living with HIV two have a weight gain on DTG and MG. Yeah, uh, we do get. few cases in adolescent especially so we have to keep on watch and um, height and weight and development of the children because in pediatrics we have not seen any excessive gain of weight because in case of gain, weight gain that is a common um, thing of development and growth and development of children they will gain weight it does not mean it is because of the dtg it is because of normal uh, development and growth process so see, uh, see even the excess weight gain and especially in adolescent if they are going, gaining weight excessively with the dolitigo that to be it mentioned So another case, six years old, thirteen kg, started ALD on first July twenty three. One twenty tablets AL and sixty tablets DTG ten is given. That means sixty uh, tablets and AL one twenty tablets for that means for thirty days. He has taken DTG ten in the evening at six pm. He had come for drug collection on twenty nine July. So for after twenty eight days he has come. Pill count is uh, having in the box as a AL ten and DTG six. That means How will you write the prescription? This was the prescription. So how will you calculate the other is number of pills given and number of balance balance pill into hundred divided in number of pills and the patient should have been taken. So I, I must I think if, if people are quite aware of how to calculate the other is dose and this way you have to calculate like in see the example uh, the drug uh, drug dose per day is two tablet twice daily two tablets once daily. Number of tablets with patient one day of the dispersal day means one twenty tablets given. Tablets should have been consumed. How much should they be consumed in twenty eight days? So twenty eight into four per day twenty two tablets uh, twice daily means four tablets. So twenty eight into four is one hundred twelve tablets. Actually consumed how much? One twenty minus ten means one hundred ten. Drug dispersal minus drug remaining on pills count. So. Treatment at the end is the drug consumed by drugs should have been consumed twenty five days into hundred. So you have to calculate and it should be come to ninety eight percent and ninety seven percent. But aim should be hundred percent. Then only achieve more than ninety five percent. So in conclusion, the pediatric uh, ART mode dolotic over ten milligrams more potent and effective. Harmonize and simplify the ART regime with the adult. New regime has proposed a many implementation challenges. DTG is used across the different uh, regimes. First and second line, 
DTC is well tolerated and few adverse effects reported are minor and seldom that too also in the adult. Treatment preparedness and adherence counter should be done before ART initiation and transition to TTG Mr. C. So I think this is my last um, slide. If you have any queries, please ask me. And thank you for your patient sharing. Just write on chat box if you have any queries. I think uh, Dr. Sheta. Dr. Sheta, are you here? Thank you so much, ma'am. Yes, uh, is there any questions? I don't think I can't see any questions. Oh, there, in the are, chat there are box. no questions in the chat box. Uh, any oh. questions from the participants? Ma'am, I don't think there are any questions. Ma'am, can you please go to the previous slide? Just do it. Yes. Thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, if DTG ke job aids agar unko download karne hai, to please ye QR code scan karke download kar lije. Ye ham RDLS PPT ke saath bhi bhejenge. Ye NDLS PPT ke saath bhi aa chuke hai aapke pas. Aur agar fir bhi aapko nahi mile hai, to please reach out to us. So all Thank of you, you must scan the things. Scan QR code to download the Scan kije. QR code scan kar lije mobile pe. You all um, scan your QR codes and you will get the job. job. Just scan it. Ye Hindi all the mein staff, or English English staff mein. are requested to scan the uh, QR code. Either Hindi or English, which is uh, comfortable for you people. Ma'am, thank you so much for facilitating this session. Okay, thank you. I think yeah. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks. So we are ending over here. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you to all the participants for patient listening. We'll conclude this session now.